Yeah, it will be. There's a very good performance from Carpon Leung. But when you look at the first round games that we have on board two, this one for me sticks out like a sore thumb. You've got to ask me, where do you get your coffee? Well, where I live, every cup of coffee is more than three quid. Hipster coffee and hipster darts. And that's what we're bringing you here from stage two. Adam Hunt likes this stage even more now. Looking very fresh today, Adam, with a new shirt and obviously coming through Q School like Carol has. Both guys on the tour this year can barely be separated, Murph. Yeah, 0 0.07 in their collective averages over the 11 matches. Each player has played. Uh, we'll come back to some of the performances, particularly from Carol Sedlacek at the end of this leg, having commentated on both players on the Players' Championship circuit already. Different setting, of course, the behind closed doors, no crowd, no noise to what they're going to play in here. I say one thing this game is rapid. Tops for Adam. Early hold, 15. early miss, and great approach play from the check. Look, tens after an adjustment. That's an early break. He might be called Evil Charlie, but he's only evil on the dartboard. He's a very nice bloke. Well, there's a first check checkouts and. From what I've seen of Carroll said the check this year, deadly doubling has been a key feature of his match. In fact, one of the games that he played on the Pro Tour, the finishing was out of this world. The match against Lou Humphries, who became the first challenger to win a Premier League match last night, beating Gary Anderson. Well done to Luke. But it was no match for Carroll said the check when they met on the floor. 6 0 win for said the check. Just listen to this, Paul. Finishers of 94, 61, 101, 81, 76, and 77. 57. Missing a single dart at double in that match. Well, I don't care who you are or what you've done, that is mightily impressive. And we know that said the check has quality because he's made the quarterfinals of a Euro Tour before. That's something that Adam has 60, not done. And he's rapidly going about his business right here. He's got 68 left, confirmed by Hugh Ware. Doesn't have to go 18 bolt. As well as quality, he's got good tactics. Yeah, just sets it up. Adam Hunt will be breathing down his neck by virtue of that maximum. First of the match. Sedlacek just backs it away, doesn't feel the pressure, doesn't feel the heat applied by Hunt. I think we're on the bit of a cusp of uh, a Czech revolution uh, when it comes to darts. There are people coming through for the godfather of Czech darts at the minute. Karol Sedlacek is not doing a bad job at all, he is. He's motoring, but look at who's coming behind him. 59. Two youngsters stick out for me. Uh, one is Adam Gavlas, who we've seen in the World Youth Final, and the World Junior Final, the Junior Darts Corporation Final. He lost both. But what about Thomas Hudek, who a lot of people within the game are talking is. about? He has got a great amount of ability. But I think for a country to prosper, you have to have someone who is at the professional Sixth level team. making waves, and that is what Sedlicek is starting to do. Yeah, 41 years of age, the first Czech tour card holder in the PDC, and certainly showing that he will be a competitive participant One in professional darts. Showing more than that so far here, said it would be hard to match the performance of Kai Fan Lung. But it looks like Ted Larchek could blow it out of the water if he carries on at this rate. One shot at tops. 
pulled that one. He Adam wasn't looking at the left side at all. It's pulled and it goes low. Adam wants the left side now. Clean bet away, Matt. At tens. He's giving too many chances to Selichek. He knows this. Yeah, two tenths from Adam Hunt. Two tenths. Carol Sedlarchek to make it 3 0. Game on. I think maybe a couple of years ago, if you'd have drawn Carol early in a tournament, you'd have thought, okay, that could have been worse. But let's face it, at the minute, it couldn't have got much worse than drawing someone like Selichek at this point because he's full of confidence. It's a long way back to County Durham from Minehead, and he doesn't want to be back on the road in the next 20 minutes. 60. There will be plenty of interest in the match on the main stage right now. Mike De Decker leads Lisa Ashton 3 0. Raced into the same lead that Sedlacek has earned himself here. I know that plenty of you will be watching across all of the coverage over the course of the weekend. So the main stage on ITV4 here on PDC TV. We have stage two action today and tomorrow, and there is, of course, plenty of darts going on between boards three and eight. You can follow the action in real time, not live streamed, but the live scores at dartconnect.com for that as well. So we will have everything covered, and we'll try to keep you up to date here as well. Needs more of these more often. Needed them all to get to a finish. And check is looking very good for four nil. Still has time on his side. The one thing about darts, Murph, is it's just not smooth. And when it's not going your way, 60. you start to think, how can I change things on the fly? He's going to need to find something quite Herculean to get back from 4-0 down. I know he can do it because he can blitz you in the blink of an eye, Adam Hunt. This is such a difficult position now. Yeah, he's going to have to live up to his nickname, isn't he? Adam Hunt, the hunter. Sedlacek galloping off into the distance, and somehow Adam Hunt was going to have to rein him in. I think at this point of his career, Adam, who has a couple of young kids now, he's a fabulous young man, he's waiting for that real thing to happen on tour. Needs to have a huge run in a Players' Championship, maybe, or have a deep run in a Euro Tour. Maybe that's what he needs to really push forward. Because at the minute, there's a lot of first, second rounds. That kind of stuff is happening. He's a very straight player. When he gets something wrong, it tends to be just under the 60. But maybe that's the one thing he's waiting for, that big run. That one big run, just to kickstart his career. Yeah, he's 26 years of age now, Adam Hunt, and I'm not sure that it would be unkind to say it's about time for the boy to become the man in darting terms. Yeah, he's played a lot of development tour over the last few years. That's won a lot on the development and challenge yeah. tour, Adam Hunt, but hasn't really produced it in the professional game. The one thing he does do is he hangs around with the right people, spends a lot of time with Chris Dorby, and it's impossible not to be motivated when he's around. Now... Settle check for 5 nil. needs double 16. And finally, Adam gets Adam a doable shot. He's had this before. Same single as last time. 20. And yet again, he misses the doubles. Yeah, with that bulbous barrel, he, he perhaps planted it too close to the double. Game. Just hindered himself. And it is... Well, it's gone from an uphill climb, climb to a, a mountain that Adam Hunt has to somehow race up. And Sedlacek is just determined to kick him back down to the bottom. Well, if Adam can recover and win this match from here, we'd have to call him the Olympic uphill skiing champion. Well, I thought he might not get a chance at all because Sedlacek was threatening the nine darter. I have to uh, just highlight 
Our view is to the fact that Paul Nicholson has made a very bold prediction about yeah. nine darters <laughs> this weekend. I'm not letting you get away with not sharing that on air, Paul, so go ahead. Tell us what you think. Uh, my inkling was that maybe we'd get one in each room. So one on this stage, one on the main stage, and of course one in the other room which houses boards three to eight. It's not insurmountable. I did pluck for the nine daughter last week in Dublin, so I got that one right. But right now, it's all about Sedlicek like getting the job done in quick fire time and tops for six nil. Double ten. Would have sealed a whitewash win, but he will be back. Adam Hunt not really at the races, and Carol Sedlicek has produced a, a very, very strong performance. His average is around the ton mark, or it should be at the end of the match. Also, he's starting to get a little bit messy. Well, this is the brink right here. Double 16 to avoid the bagel. But now Sedlicek looking to put the jam on the bagel. Great guide. And he uses it expertly. Evil Charlie with an evil performance. A 6-0 whitewash win against Adam Hunt. 